Hello world! Welcome to the companion video of my previous article about Secure Spring Boot 2 REST API with Keycloak 8. Today our topic is about role-based access control in Spring Boot with Keycloak. The purpose of this tutorial is to restrict the menu access depending on the user's roles. Now I have created a Spring Boot to REST API project that we can use for this tutorial available in GitHub. It's Spring Keycloak RBAC RBAC and it's available in GitHub in this URL which I will make available in the description box of this video. Now let's start by importing this Spring REST project and it should have this content. So we should have the realm and user configuration under the config folder as well as the postman collection which we will use in testing this application. Our code will contain the same classes that we have from the previous video. So we have the keycloak security config and custom keycloak spring boot config resolver in case you wanted to test the path depending on the user's role then you can check the configure method but for this video we are mostly concerned with generating or patching the menu the menus associated with a certain role so first let's check our menu entity it has a parent menu label icon sort order and uh, we have roles associated for this menu. And then uh, we have conferred to because our sub menu will be sortable. Now we have a menu hierarchy. So it has a parent, a sub menu that is sortable. And then we have the usual menu repository from uh, Spring. And here we have a custom query that will select all menu all menus of a given set of roles with this parameter role names and then we have the menu service which gets the uh, currently lag user from the base service and then i have uh, created a configuration class that will produce the user the currently lag user which is the current user provider here we check if the principal is an instance of user details and then we get the username otherwise we convert the principal to string and then we have the username and then we get the collection of authorities using the security context holder that get context that get authentication that get authorities and then we have a we have created a current user class which will hold the username and the roles of the currently lag user now in the menu service it will fetch an unordered list of menu so here first we group the menu and then so we have a hierarchy, we have a parent menu and sub menu, and uh, we sort the sub menu using the uh, Java Lambda expression. So here we have the sorting method, the sorted, which uses the uh, default sorting. So it's increasing one, two, three, four, five. And that is why we have the sort order field in the menu entity and then I have also created a insert statements in the data that SQL which will automatically be executed when we run this Spring Boot application so here we have three main menus trading product management and sales and each of them has their own sub menus now Let's take a look at product management. Product 
or rather let's take a look at trading trading has three sub menus and uh, I intentionally randomize the insert statement so here we have the order of the insert statement so here we have the sort order one two, one three two so that means that by default it will be inserted in this order but in the database but if we retrieve this it should be returned in the order one two three we will take a look at that later when we run this application all right now i think we have everything prepared for our project it's now time to configure keycloak so again i have already included the ram configuration and the user and roles so the roles is included in the ram configuration and this is the user the list of users that will be imported in our keycloak realm now let's begin importing the keycloak realm if you haven't done so, you can download Keycloak from keycloak.org. And uh, for this demo, I'm using the latest as of this time, which is version 8.0.1. Now to run Keycloak, let's execute this command. Uh, inside Keycloak home directory under the bin folder, run the standalone dot bat file if you are on windows otherwise run the dot sh for linux and uh, we have the first parameter jboss.socket.binding.fort offset which will make the keycloak default uh, accessible fort 8080 plus 1 which will become 8081 and then the second parameter dash d keycloak dot profile dot feature dot upload scripts equals enabled will allow us to upload the realm configuration which we already have now let's run keycloak and then if it's your first time running keycloak it should ask you to create a master account now in this case, I have already run Keycloak before, that's why it will just ask me to log in. Now let's try again. Alright, now let's uh, log in in the administration console. And we will begin by importing our uh, realm. By default, you should only have the master realm so to create a new realm hover on the master realm and click the add realm button and select a file now the realm configuration is available under our imported project config folder and hit create and it should create a new realm with the name balam garden it should have two clients sso client and api services so the, the details of this realm is already uh, explained in the previous video now i have just added some new roles here we can see catalog manager sellout manager sales manager and more but our main role are promoter and supervisor both of them are what we call composite roles so they they are role but they contain the other roles are associated with them in this case promoter has also the roles sales manager and sellout manager now if we look at our data that xml with the uh, insert sql statements we can see that we have sales manager and uh, sellout manager for for these two menus so meaning if we have a user with the role promoter then we should be able to retrieve these two menus now for our next role supervisor supervisor is a composite role with associated roles catalog manager sales manager and trading manager now let's take a look 
at our insert statement again. And here we have the role trading manager, the role catalog manager. To these menus, we should be able to retrieve them when we log in using a user with the role supervisor. And then we have two users that we, oh, we need to import them first. So hit the import menu in the left panel and uh, select a file and select the Valam Garden users. Under the uh, if a resource exist uh, field, select skip and hit import because uh, when we import the realm, it already created this uh, service account as a sole client user. Now we have two users. Let's check them. Sarah is a member of the role uh, promoter. Effectively, she's she also is a member of the roles sales manager and uh, sellout manager. And as for Jim, he's a member of the role supervisor. And uh, effectively, he has catalog sales and trading manager roles now i think we're done configuring our key cloak realm it's now time to test to run some tests i have created a postman collection again available under the config folder of this project which we will use when testing this application and uh, going back to the application, you should see a new controller, menu controller. This controller has a get mapping request that returns a list of menu on a given user. Now let's try running this Spring Boot application. And if we look at the Postman collection, it's the same with our with the previous one but this time I have added a new test get menu by role if you're new to this video and you haven't watched the previous video yet login will log into Keycloak so we are using the open ID URL from Keycloak and then in the test we are saving the access token and the refresh token in postman's environment variables because we will use that token when we access a secured URL. This hello request will access any URL in our application that is not secure. So let's try to log in. We have the access token and hit the hello. So it should be able to access this URL is authenticated. Now to authenticate a request, go to authorization and set type equals bearer token and specify the token which is access token this access token is the access token value that we have saved when we authenticate using this open id url from keycloak and we save it in postman's environment variable that's why we can use it here now hit the send button and we should be able to access these accounts authenticated now in case you haven't seen the previous uh, tutorial and here are those URLs so hello is not secured and uh, authenticated is pre-authorized and uh, it has a parameter is authenticated so it will accept any user and uh, we have the promoters and the supervisors URL which we have secured in Keycloak security config so here when we access the promoter's URL, it should, take, it should check if the user has or is a member of a role promoter. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Now, let's check this not authenticated. By not authenticated, meaning this request is secured, right? But we haven't passed any token. That's why we have this unauthorized error. And then, Sarah, remember, is a member of the promoter role. That's why when we access this promoter role, we got a valid response, a status 200 response, and we got the hello world from the endpoint. And then supervisors. 
since Zyra is not a member of the Rolls of Advisor, we got this uh, HTTP status 403 forbidden because of this line. So, uh, supervisor, this URL uh, with suffix asterisk, so any URL that contains this part will only be accessible by a user with the role supervisor. Thus, we got this error. And then finally, the get menu by role. Let's run this. And we got sales and sellout. Now, reviewing our SQL states, uh, insert statements, we can see that a promoter We will start here that a promoter is a composite role with sales and uh, sellout manager associated roles which are these two roles and then we have the menu sales and sellout and thus we got this response intentionally the route the route field is null but this is the route that will be associated with that menu for example this could be sales sellout so if you're using angular or react that is the route that you will use for that page now moving on let's check jim again jim is a member of the supervisor role these are the same tests so you should not be able to access the promoter's url because this is only accessible by a user with a role promoter but he should be able to access the supervisors so we have a status 200 which is correct and finally we have the get menu by role we have this roles because when we check the role supervisor it has these associated roles catalog sales and uh, trading if we look at our uh, insert sql statement statements we can see that we should be able to access all of these menus because they have trading manager and catalog manager now let's look at the order of this because here i intentionally put this or i intentionally list them in the wrong order let's check the response for trading we have trading region 1, trading branch 2, and trading province 3, meaning it was reordered properly and they were grouped according to the menu hierarchy. And uh, the next one is the product, product management. Under product management, we have the dealers and the dealer groups, which corresponds to this SQL's uh, insert statements. And I think that's it for this video. If you enjoy and learn something, please do like my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have a problem related to programming and you think I can be of help to you, don't hesitate to post a question in the comment section of this video. And I will try to create a video tutorial similar to this one. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.